I just finished putting my costume on when the tone signaling an announcement played. Perfect timing. Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone slept well. And I hope everyone has enjoyed the task so far. <laughs> there was a muffled mumbling sound that I couldn't quite make out. <laughs> yes, yes, fine. Everyone's been doing really well, so today is a special treat. It has been brought to my attention that not everyone came here to play my little game. <laughs> and so today will be the first rest day. If you wish to go into town or sightseeing, alert one of my staff and they will drive you to your destination. If you choose to remain in the mansion, you will need to stay in costume. But if you go out, feel free to wear whatever you like. The staff will ensure that you are not seen leaving by any other participants. Oh, that's right. Also, your phones will be returned today and collected tonight. Have fun! I put this on for nothing. Damn it. Okay, I'll change, retrieve my phone, and go sightseeing. This is my holiday, after all. Once I was ready, I opened my room door to find a man standing there with my phone in hand. Good day, Miss C. He handed me my phone and I shoved it into my pocket to check later. I take it that you want to go out? Yes, please. Where do you want to go? There's this cafe known for its delicious coffee and beautiful scenery. It sounds like a relaxing place. I could really do with some good food and downtime before the next task. Right away, Miss C. Follow me. He led me into one of the hidden passages, and after a ridiculous amount of twists and turns, we emerged at an underground parking bay. We got into a nondescript car, and he dropped me off in front of the cafe, giving me instructions to phone him when I'm done. It was such a beautiful day that I decided to eat outside. I'd just taken a seat when a waitress came over to hand me a menu. I'll be back in a few minutes to take your order. I looked over the menu and was more than ready when the waitress returned. I'll have this and this and this with a side order of this, this to drink, and this for dessert. All right, it'll be ready soon. I fiddled with my phone while waiting, noting that I had a few messages from Mira and not much else. I should probably call her soon. Maybe when I get back to the mansion. While I was musing over what to say to her, the waitress came over and put a plate in front of me. Wait, this isn't what I ordered. What the hell is this? This is not what I ordered. I guess it must have been a mix-up. I got up to see who had gotten my order. Please calm down, sir. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Who would order all of this for breakfast? Sorry, that'd be me. Our orders must have gotten swapped. I took a seat and began to eat the food I ordered. Mm. Stop staring. Eat your own food. This is my table. And my food is here. I failed to see your point. Well, fuck you too. Look, either eat your food or move. I'm not gonna bother carrying all this to another table. <sighs> waitress, bring my food here. Right away, sir. The waitress hurriedly brought his food to the table before scurrying away. Must you eat like that? Like what? Like the food will run away if you don't eat it fast enough. If you're going to sit with me, at least act more dignified. It might not run away, but it'll get cold. What is so difficult about this for you to understand? <sighs> the rest of the meal passed in silence until... A hair? It's not mine. Don't eat it. I wasn't going to eat the hair. I was going to throw it away and eat the food. Just don't do anything. Anything at all. He waved the waitress over. I was under the impression that this was a reputable cafe. I it is. So reputable restaurants not only mix up orders, but serve food with hair in it. Uh, hair, sir? Yes, hair. He pointed to my plate. Specifically that hair. Oh, um... I believe I was patient enough regarding the mix-up, but this I cannot abide. Call your manager. Sir, I... um... Now. The waitress hesitated a moment before letting out a shaky breath. Right away, sir. A few moments later, she returned with a portly man in tow. What seems to be the problem, sir? 
Not only did your staff mix up our orders, they also served food with hair in it. I demand compensation. Of course, sir. I'm very sorry that you've had a bad experience. This waitress is still a trainee, you see. I... I don't care. Are you going to do anything or not? I'll see to it that these mills are replaced and that both the replacements and these are on the house. Naturally. I'll take care of that right away. The manager went into the cafe and the waitress cleared our plates. Yes! Free food! Mm. When the waitress returned with the replacement dishes, I dug in with gusto. There's no food like free food! How much can you eat? You should be full by now. Free food is free food. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Where does it all go? Shaking his head, the guy stood up. You're leaving already? You haven't even finished your food. I was already full when they brought this. Can I eat it then? He walked away without responding. I'll take that as a yes. This place is gorgeous. It really was a good idea to come here for a vacation. Wait, is that? The guy from the cafe was wandering around taking photos of the area. He certainly got the right idea. This place is beautiful enough to want to immortalize on film. This seems like a good spot to relax. The sound of the waves, the fresh ocean air, the... Wait, him again? He was taking photos here as well. I wonder if he's on vacation like me. Or maybe he's some famous nature photographer. Uh, nah. I went to a few other tour spots and he seemed to show up at every one. He even showed up at the spot where I was waiting for the driver to pick me up and take me back to the mansion. While I waited, curiosity got the better of me. I never said I was patient, and I walked up to him. Are you following me? That's my line. Why would I follow you? I'm the innocent young maiden here. If you don't know, then I'm not telling you. So it's all some wacky coincidence? Seems like it. <sighs> Must be fate. Hmm. Well, it was nice talking to you, but my ride just showed up. When I got home, I immediately sank into bed, only to be woken up when one of Eric's staff came to collect my phone. Damn, I completely forgot about calling Mira. Project.